Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Renee All Day, joined now by the one, the only, Ted Karras. How wow. are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me. Oh my God, thanks for being on here. Um, do I call you Ted, Teddy, Theodore, Teddy Bear? It's, What's it, the nickname? It's a choice. It's a mixed bag. It I is a mixed Only bag. like one person in my life calls me Theo. It's one of my Theo's friends. Theo's a good one though. Yeah. Theo's cute. I like Theo. Yeah, I've never been a Theo though, but <laughs> 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 my friends call me Teddy Karras. Like, yeah. Uh. How is it being like the third. Well, like, I'm actually not the third. I am the third Ted in a row, but I have a different middle name than the first two uh, Ted's. So okay. I'm Ted Karras. My dad's Ted Karras Jr. Yes. And we do a lot of business together, and it's kind of confusing. Right. Because people think, obviously, I would be the junior. Sure. But, uh, yeah. You're like double junior. There needs junior, to be like junior, junior, junior. That's my nickname. TK3. Yeah, wow. A lot of different... <laughs> There's a lot to work with there. I like it a lot. Um, okay, so, of course, as we were just saying, your family, you were a third-generational football player. Yes. What would you have done if you weren't a football player? Jeez, probably coach football. Okay, Yeah. okay. Um, but are you saying even just not even growing up playing? I don't Whatever know. Whatever just makes your heart go pitter-patter. Yeah, I, I love I love to read, and I love, like, fiction and okay. stuff like that. I what think are you reading? Ken Follett right now. Okay. Yeah, Fall I'm, of Giants. I'm a big fan of Ken Follett. I think he's the best. It's funny that, I mean, not funny that you say that, but as I was like prepping for this interview, I was watching some of your other interviews. I'm like, he's got a really great vocabulary. I bet you he reads a lot. Oh, thank you. No, I do. Well, thank you behold, for noticing you do. that. I try, to, I try to sneak some in when yeah. appropriate. You can't force it, though. No, no. You got to <laughs> yeah. like pepper some in every once in a while, but I appreciate that. Um, okay, so you would have maybe been a coach. It seems like you still do kind of a bit of that anyways and like sort of a coach player role. How do you sort of switch between the two of those mindsets? Well, you know, we have such great coaches here too. I made a choice when I came in here. I didn't want to like step on any toes and mm -hmm. I wanted to assimilate into a culture that's already been built and been successful. So, you know, we have such great coaches, but there are certain things that I can bring to the table that, yeah. you know, help, you know, the guys around me. Center kind of naturally lends itself to that. So sure. it's, it's, I'm really grateful for the opportunity to play this position here. What all went into your decision to come here? I mean, you look at your accolades and whatnot, and you see this this opportunity come up with the Bengals. What made this uh, a, a great destination for you? Well, you know, what, the base motivation is I, I just wanted to be wanted. Who you know, doesn't, yeah. right? I've been a free agent, you know, three years in a row mm -hmm. and had to sign three one-year deals. Yeah. Uh, and just kind of no one ever really gave me a deal with confidence like you're our guy. So yeah. I, I, I had a few options, but it really happened fast. I'm from Indianapolis. Yes. Um, coming nice back to close. the Midwest. Yeah. But, and then, you know, you look at the, the talent of this roster and to fill a position of need, a position that, you know, they really wanted to, to fill was, was such an amazing opportunity. I jumped on it. took me like 15 minutes to commit. So. Oh, that's great. I do not agonize over decisions. <laughs> yeah. Was there anyone that you were talking to that kind of made, that did kind of go into that decision? Well, you can't really talk to anyone. So it was like, uh, you know, Monday at noon it starts mm -hmm. and they called right around, you know, 12, 15. Yeah. And, you know, it's kind of like musical chairs too. Mm -hmm. So it's, you, if you miss out on your opportunity and say, it's yes, fun. someone else is going to take your spot. Right, so right. there's not a lot of deliberation, really not a lot of yeah. time for deliberation. So we pulled the trigger on it and couldn't be happier. Does it feel different going into a season when you have a one year contract versus having something where, you know, people are really invested in you and you are that guy? Well, I think that football is so seasonal anyway. So, you know, everyone's technically on a one, you know, sure. it's, it's a, what have you done for Not me guaranteed. lately business? Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, I, I don't really change my mindset and how I want to approach my performance. But it's nice to know that, you know, w with what they offered, that they wanted me to be the guy who was a recruiting tool. Of course, tool. yeah. Um, but, yeah, no, it's definitely, you know, the past three years has been, I've kind of felt, you know, I'm not going to be here next year. And, and that can be a liberating feeling, too, especially sure. in the season. But um, I'm out of here in a minute anyway. Yeah. It's not my problem. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I, I do want to, you know, make a life here, be around this organization for a long time. So obviously just want to keep performing my very best. I feel like Cincinnati is a great place to be. Is it as like, I know, like, I'm sure for so many players in different leagues and whatnot, like, where am I going to land? You want to be in like a great city with whatever team you're playing on. How do you feel about Cincinnati? I think it's so beautiful. Isn't it's been it great. Oh, it's so great. And we've been here about six months. Um, I didn't really know anything about Cincinnati, even being, you know, live, growing up so close. We played a few of the high schools, but yeah. even driving, driving home last night, I mean, the autumn coming in, the it's rolling beautiful. hills of Cincinnati. Yeah. I think it's really cool that but every 10 minutes is a new town, mm -hmm. even though it's all Cincinnati, but that lends itself to 
you know, a great culture, a, you know, a yeah. diversity of culture in different towns. So I think it's really cool. Where do you hang out? Where are your spots? Do you My have spots? spots? I have a few spots. I like the Oak <laughs> Tavern in Oakley. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, the establishment also in Oakley. I spent a lot of time in Oakley. As you should. Yeah. As you should. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Oakley. Shout out to Oakley. Is it hard for you to just go like hang out? No, I'm at the perfect level of okay. that. So uh, this is probably the most I've ever been recognized in my life. Yeah. Um, but, you know, still I'm plausible to just be a regular guy. I'm not That's like nice. a giant. I'm, I'm a big guy. But, yeah. <laughs> um, and this, there's very knowledgeable fans here. So it is cool when it comes out. But, mm -hmm. you know, the, the fans here are really cool. And it's, it's, I've made a lot of great friends already. Hell yeah. That's great. <laughs> um, you've obviously had an opportunity to be around a lot of greats in football um what are some comparisons that you can draw between like a tom brady and a joe burrow and like what those guys really bring to a, to a team uh the competitive stamina and uh you know the ferocity with which they go after there's a vocabulary the everybody i want to do, I do that just for you <laughs> but which which they go after the goal of the common goal of of winning and you know quarterback i believe is the most important position in sports and if your quarterback is not a leader, then the whole organization is going to suffer. And yeah. both of those two men are phenomenal leaders and obviously back it up with great performances. So that's a win-win yeah. for the rest of us. And my job is to, uh, you know, make him feel as comfortable as possible so mm -hmm. that he can make us all look good. Um, you've got two Super Bowl rings. Where's the funniest place you've ever worn those out to? Funniest place I've ever worn. <laughs> I, them so I don't, wear, I don't wear them out much. I don't wear them. I wear them to a lot of schools. Yeah. Like if I go to a school Kiss to. Kiss the rings. <laughs> yeah. Well, I pass them out. You know, it's a. Yeah. Uh, it, they're almost like a magical little item because they really captivate everyone. It's such a special thing, mm -hmm. and they're they're very gaudy. They're like they're this, huge. Yeah, yeah. They look huge on your hands, yeah. and you're a large man. Like, how do you even like? So I don't wear them out much. You can't get anything out of your pocket no, if you got those no. things on. Um. But I know I don't wear them wear them much at all. Mm, okay, yeah. all right, fair enough. Fair Especially enough. Especially in season, not, <laughs> yeah, they're, yeah. they're tucked away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, we've talked some football. Switching gears, fishing. Fishing. Where, what are you fishing? What What do you use for bait? I've seen this on like your Instagram. Are you like quite the fisherman? I I like to think I am. Looks like yeah. you are. Looks um, like you've caught some some prize pieces. Some really nice uh, fishies. So, yeah. <laughs> and I love to cook fish, so I live down in Florida too in the off season. Oh, I'll so. be following up with you on that one. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so what are we catching? The the main fish I like to catch is a mahi mahi, a mahi. My and guy, how bougie fish. of you. Yeah, and then uh, a wahoo. And is some, that very similar to mahi mahi? No, isn't it? no. Okay. Not really. Well, it's, I tried. Yeah, it's like a striped uh, fish. Almost looks like a barracuda. Oh, oh Some cultures geez. call it an ono. Oh, okay. But um, it is very good eating. It's almost like clear meat. Oh, wow. And then you only have to, you literally just sear it for a few seconds. Okay. And it's ready to go. What do you use for bait for these guys? Bait, you use like a strips of bonita, which are, it's like, a, almost looks like a tuna. Okay. But it's not good to eat. Oh, so, but okay. But you catch a lot of bonita just off of putting anything in the water okay. so strips of bonita and i don't rig it up this is a very professional crew in florida <laughs> i don't have a boat i i have a guys i go out with you gotta they, have friends with the boat you don't want to oh be yeah, the guy with I the know. boat you want friends with the boat. friends with the boat yes and they're great so the broker <laughs> charter in florida. I'll, I'll plug them have you ever had um like a scary experience on a boat like seeing a shark or anything like that i've caught a few sharks oh god yeah um, what's it like reeling that guy in uh, they were smaller, okay. not like a big one. I would love to catch a big shark. We'd let them go and everything. Sure, but, sure. Um, I see them up close. I don't keep anything we don't eat or use. Yeah. But catching two wahoo at the same time was, I felt like I was in a Discovery Channel episode. They were both, because <laughs> they'll, they'll, if they yeah. make contact with you, you're about a, you're getting stitches for sure. Oh, yeah, they got very like big gnarly very teeth. Dangerous. Yes. Oh my lord. Okay. Jumping on the boat, they try to jump out of the cooler if they're still alive and attack you. Oh no, thank <laughs> you. No, thank you. I'll pass on that one. Okay, so how are we preparing the fish? What all goes into the the cooking and the preparation of them? So I cook I cook fish. I have a very simple recipe: butter, lemon, uh, some panko breadcrumbs, and parmesan mixed together, okay. and just fried it. Maybe a little cayenne pepper. Okay, get a but, little yeah, a little, little spicy spice. something something. All but right. you don't want to overpower the fish. You know, it's very fresh. You caught it that day. Yeah. And let the freshness do its own speaking. Yeah. Yeah. What else do you cook? You sound like you like to get down in the kitchen. I do like to get down. I cook a lot of chicken, mm -hmm. uh, grill, you know, anything. Uh, 
I got a Traeger, so. Oh, me too. It makes Traeger you look, party. It makes you look genius. All you got to do is press the button, you Isn't doctor it, it up. so great? Pre pre put it in there, and then everyone thinks you're just this great chef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Emeril who? What? <laughs> and I don't think Emeril's really smoking things, but maybe he was. Um, what's the, the best thing you've pulled off of your Traeger? Some ribs, okay. smoked ribs. Yeah, Did you that's like that three, two, one rib yeah. that's on there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the recipes <laughs> on there are really great too. They're amazing. Just follow them and, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I did the smoked queso off of there one Ooh. time, and it was a delight. I'll have to oh try that. Oh my god, you do like desserts on there? Wow. All right. Very good stuff. Um, you're a cat guy. I am. You got two cats? I have two cats. Cats better than dogs? Uh, at times, yeah, especially <laughs> yeah. for my lifestyle now. Sure. You know, I, I don't have time to take care of a dog. My cats can take care of themselves, uh -huh. but they're pretty spoiled, too. That is nice when you can just, they're fine. They're, they're fine, good. Yeah. And your wife can, like, you don't have to, like, hover over them or anything. Yeah. That is nice. What are your cat's names? Uh, Nigel and Nugget. Nigel and Nugget. <laughs> These sweet guys. I love that. Um, what else are you doing in your downtime? What do you get up to when you're not on the field and you're not thinking about football? So in season is tough. Um, you know, it's kind of, I do read before I go to bed, mm -hmm. but there's really not a lot of hobbies I do uh, in season. Okay. But I, I, off season, I try to do a skill. I'm either in school or. Oh, um, what? Yeah, I, but I finished, so I got three degrees. Oh my God. Yeah. What are your degrees? Uh, my latest is at my MBA from Indiana University. This guy. Then I have two from University of Illinois before I left. So good for you. Yeah. So I didn't do it this year. Started playing piano. I'm half decent. What? Yeah. Oh my god. We have five months off. This is amazing. People don't utilize their time like this. You are making the most of your life. Yeah. Trying to. Wow. My, yeah. So you're playing the piano. What are you playing? Um, what was like your inspiration? You're like, if I can play this one song, if there's like a house party and you can just light it up on the on the keys. I want to be. I wanted to be ready for like a Christmas concert. My guy. Yeah. Yes. So I'm not. I have. I. It's suffered since uh, okay. the season started, so I'm not very confident in my ability to okay. play in front of people right now. I'd okay. probably have to do like a two-week refresher, but I did it pretty much every day for like four months. Got pretty good. Do you have someone come and teach you, or you use that like musician no, app? I bought an app on the iPad that yeah. listens to your piano. Was it the musician piano. one? Uh, maybe you piano? I don't know. I think it's the same one. Okay. I did that with my banjo yeah. or ukulele. It's really cool. It listens yeah. and, and coaches you up. Yeah. Yeah, it tells you like if you're in tune, if you're in time. Yeah, it's spectacular. It's yeah. really cool. Wow, gosh. Okay, so what's next on the docket? What else do you want to learn how to do? Uh, I don't know. You know, I that's that's kind of a game time decision every year. I'd probably go back to school this year. Okay. I wanted to take an off season off. It took me five off seasons to get that MBA. So yeah, it was a lot. That's a lot of work. I failed accounting. I had to I had to do a whole oh another semester again. These numbers. <laughs> a big fat F. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God there's other people that can handle that. Yeah. Hats off to you guys that are good at that. Um, I also hear that you're quite the hype man in the locker room. Yeah. You're out there pumping people up. Has that always been you? Have you always been like that guy to really like rally the troops and like... I'm not a speech guy, so I'm not like a rah-rah. It's just my own energy. So okay. I, I bring a lot of energy and enthusiasm. I think it's the only way to be successful in this game. This game's very hard. Sure. And... Uh, you know, I really do enjoy it. It's I'm very grateful. I'm 29 still playing this game. Yeah. Um, so I have a lot of fun doing it. Uh, maybe not in the moment, but yeah, I'm very <laughs> hyped up, ready to go. So do you choose who leads the who who day chant? Well, if you get chosen the week before, then the next win you choose. So I chose uh, Jamar okay. this past week. So then when we win this week, he'll choose uh, the next person. The, the conch has been yeah. passed. Yeah. It's off to him. Uh, I'm. I understand that you guys do the Who Day chant incorrectly. I'm sure there's... Do we know yeah. about this? <laughs> I think everyone gets nervous when they get picked. <laughs> and really, my strategy was, I'm just going to start with a big, loud Who Day, and hopefully the crowd takes over here. Right. But yeah, because yeah, what they do Who Day say instead of who they think. I th it's either right? one. I, th I don't know. I haven't been formally... Uh, it's who they think. It's, it's who they think. Yeah, who they think. We've been saying say, though, I think. I, which is apparently wrong. Which is maybe New Orleans. Was yes. it who dat say? Yes. It's who they think. Okay. Yes. C listen, I understand where the error could have happened. It's a fluid situation. <laughs> <laughs> We're working yeah. on it. We're working on it. Um, okay, last thing uh, to ask you about is um, Cordell Volson. What are your thoughts on him? I mean, how are you, how do you see this all playing out for him? Oh, well. What a what a hit in the draft for this organization. Um, 
to be where he is as a rookie, he's light years ahead of where mm -hmm. I was. Uh, you know, he's phenomenal. Does everything the right way. Everything you want him to do. Has a great attitude. Does his little rookie subservience. We don't make him do much, <laughs> yeah. but you still have to check him a little, yeah. a little bit. Yeah, sure. but uh, I think he's going to just be a pillar of this organization for a long time. So while I'm here, I'm going to help him as much as I can. But you know, when I'm done. Uh, down the road. It'll be exciting yeah. to watch him be the leader that he can be. Amazing. Well, listen, uh, you're great. I like hanging out with you. This was a lot of fun and super happy that you're here, a part of the Bengals, and looking forward to uh, the rest of your time here. Thank you so much. This yeah, is awesome. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs>